just trying to get a walk in with the dog in between studying. Um, this week's vlog is just going to be a little bit of a montage of some of the soft training we did with the HMB guys on the weekend. Um, it was awesome. They are fantastic guys to train with. It's harder training than I think I've had in the last 14 years of reenactment, um, which is good. And we were, come on Ulrich. I've let my dog get too fat. We've done three kilometers. I wanted to do five, but we've turned back home because he just can't handle it. Probably because it's a 33 degree day in the middle of winter. That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, we were training um, a little bit of takedown techniques and combination techniques with sword and shield. So that was really good because I, as I've explained before, I don't fight sword and shield. I've never been good at sword and shield and those combinations really helped. Though I did find it funny that the sword and shield work required a lot of punching with the shield. Um, that wasn't the funny part. The funny part was I had a little bit of tennis elbow the next day and I haven't had that since I played tennis. Um, so that was interesting. Made weightlifting this week really um, difficult. Oh, also, if you watched the PR vid last week, come on. If you watched the PR vid last week, um, that deadlift PR is now one of my warm-up sets, so that's pretty cool. I got up to 125 last night. Um, it'll be interesting to see how high I can go by the end of the year. Oh, and a big shout out to my new Hungarian friends at the gym. He keeps doing this. This isn't because he smells anything nice. He doesn't. He's just doing it as an excuse because he knows I give him a second to sniff before I make him move on and he keeps tangling himself up in trees. It's all intentional too. He's so tired because he's so fat. Sorry buddy, concentrating on myself and not you. We're remedying that now. Come on. So hopefully, whoo, he's gone around the way. Hopefully, um, what was I saying? Oh, that's right. My aim was by the end of the year to have a bench press of um, five by five at 100 kilos. That was my aim. Um, I was working on my bench press. I was doing my 80 kilo sets. So five by five is 80 kilos. This Hungarian guy comes over uh, and he says, what are you doing? That's not heavy enough for you. Let's put the weights up. And then we pushed it right up to hundred kilos, um, five by five. So that's my new starting position is hundred kilos, five by five. We'll see how it goes on Friday. Um, cause I didn't do bench press yesterday other than close grip bench press. Um, so now my goal, if I succeed on Friday is going to be 200 kilos by the end of the year. And my aim is to be benching 200 kilos by the time I get to hundred and, uh, to get to hundred kilos or below hundred kilos. So then I will be benching double my body weight and that will make me really, really happy. Um, the other thing is. Lastly, I want to say a massive thanks to Bryce. Um, he's actually from the New South Wales HMB team. Um, he just happens to be stationed in Brisbane for a little while. Um, Bryce introduced a few different ideas for my training. Um, the same stuff Paul Smith has been saying, um, the same stuff Aaron's been saying, the same stuff Jason's been saying, um, but Bryce actually walked me through some of it, which was really nice. And so I'm starting to incorporate some different things they kind of laughed at me with what I was doing for cardio. Um, they agree that it's important, but they feel that there's much more efficient ways of doing things, especially from Bryce's point of view. So Bryce recommended, um, come on, come on. My God, he's fat. So Bryce recommended instead of concentrating on um, like treadmill and and cross trainers, um, rowing still good, but instead of concentrating on those things, I should actually be concentrating on complex movements, explosive complex movements with resistance, um, which makes a lot of sense. Like logically, I knew that was already the case. So now I'm going to start looking at, um, booking a personal trainer at the gym. Um, they've got a deal on at the moment, so I'll take them up on that deal. And with that personal trainer, start working on my ability to do complex movements um, with weight, so things like kettlebells, which I have some at home. Um, still going to continue boxing just because I'm really enjoying that. Um, punching the bag, 
though ripping up my knuckles because I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, we're going to be working together complex movements using kettlebells, barbells, um, and medicine balls, box jumping, that kind of thing. So yeah, it will be interesting um, to see how it develops. I really, 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 really want to be down below 100 kilos by the end of the year. Um, can't guarantee that's going to happen, but I'm working my hardest on it. Still sticking to the diet, and I'll do a video later on what diet is I'm following, um, why we chose that diet, and um, how we can use that diet in reenactment anyway. Um, it's actually quite conducive to reenactment if you ignore some of the historical requirements of eating a lot of bread. Um, so, yeah, I'll go through that at a later date. Um, so, Anyway, here's some of the footage from HMB training on the weekends. Hope you enjoy. Um, hit like, hit subscribe, let us know what you think I should add to my training. I'm still open to comments, always going to be open to comments and criticisms. Um, and maybe give me some advice on how to make my dog less fat so that five kilometer walks are not a big deal because at the moment He's struggling to even make this four kilometer walk and I want to be running five kilometers by the end of the year. So we'll see how that goes. Thanks guys. Enjoy.